that is how I do the graphite transfer for a new painting project. That's just step one when I start a new project. We will now go over the next couple parts, which includes the paint sketch and the base painting. So please stay tuned and we'll continue on. All right, now for step two. Actually, you would first take off the image that you transferred on because you don't want all that graphite nearby that you can get on your hands. Place it back down and here we now have our new supplies to work from. Got some acrylic burnt sienna paint. I like this because it shows up pretty well and it's not too dark, but it's dark enough to go over and at least capture my lines without one smearing and two show up and three can go over with paint and eventually cover it up. Little palette in which to work from. Thing of water and some relatively small paint brushes to go over. And of course, either a paper towel or your cleaning cloth. All right, and with this, we shall get started. You don't need too much paint, especially for coverage like this where you don't need too much from because we're just going over lines. We're not shading or anything. So just a little bit on the side here. You can always add more if you need to. Going to need a fair bit of water. Let's start with a nice little long point brush so I can use it for, you know, line work mostly. Do, 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 get it nice and wet, but still showing. You want to test it out on your cloth or paper towel. Go in the middle and just start going over your graphite lines that you made. Doesn't matter if it's too strong or wet, just kind of keep it going over each line. Almost, almost like you're sketching over it. Again, these don't have to be perfect either. You just want to re-go over those lines you made in graphite and to paint so that way they don't just go away. They don't smear. And they'll be easier to follow. Now, on certain types of images and whatnot, especially if they're more complex or something, you can shade over it with the burnt sienna and a nice little wash, especially if you're doing people. I find this actually to be very helpful in that respect. Or you can even add detail sometimes with your brush. Just use whatever brush will help you go over what it is you drew or transferred. Every now and then go into the water because remember acrylic dries pretty quickly so every now and then you want to re-wet it and get a bit more paint on there. Don't want it too thin or otherwise it might not show up. Again especially with like background scenes and whatnot you don't have to be too precise if you don't want to. It can be nice and rough so long as it covers the area you need. to be wary of where you put your hand of course so you don't like get wet paint on you so kind of give it a chance to dry. Remember acrylic dries pretty fast especially if you thin it out with some water. Just be wary of you know where you were recently and what might still be wet especially depending on how much you put in that time. See, we're almost finished here. And with that, we have gone over. Actually, don't forget to clean your brush. Keep that nice and clean. Set your paint brushes aside. Cap your water if you have a cap, of course. Clean out this and then just let this dry before you do anything else to it. All right? And I will see you back in just a few minutes with you know, the next part of base painting.